Seven days after the birth of Siddhartha, his mother passed away. Buddhist tradition reports that she was reborn as Maya Deva Buddha in the Dosita heaven. From that day, Prince Siddhartha was looked after by his aunt Pajapati, Maya's younger sister, who was also his foster mother and who would want to become the first woman in the Buddhist dispensation to be admitted into the holy order of nuns. From his early years, Prince Siddhartha showed signs of being an extremely gifted and extraordinary child. He was exceptionally intelligent and in a short time mastered all the subjects taught to him. Being the son of a royal family, he was specially trained in the arts of warfare and government administration. Yet, he was profoundly compassionate. His love for all beings, great or small, knew no bounds. There were many incidents which took place during his youth that indicate he was indeed destined to be someone great. The prophecies were not, after all, given in vain. There is a story that illustrates the young prince great compassion and profound wisdom. One day, there was an argument over the possession of an injured bird, shot down by Devadatta, but saved and nursed by Siddhartha. They were cousins, but very much different. Siddhartha was kind and generous. Devadatta was cruel and mean. The argument was serious and Neda was prepared to give in. Devadatta argued that he should have the bird since it was he who had brought it down and he meant to have it. Siddhartha on the other hand argued that the bird should belong to him because it was he who saved it and thus kept back its life. At the royal court, the birdie was posed in a favor of Siddhartha. At the time, the kind prince was still in his tender age. At the age of 16, he married Yasudhara, also known as Bimba, a beautiful princess of the same age from neighboring state. King Sudodhana wanted his son to succeed him to the throne and become a universal monarch as had been predicted. So he made every effort to ensure that his son would be attached to the household life. Siddhartha was therefore provided with everything he ever wanted and his youth life was a luxurious one befitting a popular crown prince. Thus blissfully lived the young couple unperturbed by the besieged of life outside the palace gates.